Whether you're a newbie to the world of projectors or already taken the leap into this awesome world and looking to upgrade, this buyer's guide will walk you through all you'll need to consider when choosing your projector. Explain what some of the jargon means and using examples from the Optoma range give you some models to consider dependent on your usage, your environment and your budget. Though we do have a wide range of projectors available here at SCAN from all of the top brands to suit almost all budgets, which you can view on our website. So first things first, what's a projector? Well, in very basic terms, a projector describes a device which takes an image from a video source and then projects it onto a dedicated screen or another surface such as a wall. The big question is though, why would you choose one over a telly? Well, they're generally capable of a much larger picture and often, but not always, for a fraction of the cost of a comparable size TV. Dependent on the model you choose and the space you have, a picture of over 100 inches is what you can expect to achieve and because of the fact that you'll need a space where you can control the light to make it as dark as possible they also give the feel of a home cinema and they make a great choice for screening movies sports events business presentations or even gaming sessions and tournaments a projector wouldn't ordinarily be selected instead of your main TV, but as an additional purchase for special viewing situations. Projectors come in all shapes and sizes, so when selecting the right projector for you, the first things you'll need to consider are what you plan to use your projector for, along with the space you have available and of course your budget. Projectors are great fun and can cost as little as a few hundred pounds right up to several thousands. So do you plan to use a projector in a dedicated room or do you require one you can take out and about with you? This will help to determine whether you need a portable option such as the Optoma ML330 Smart LED projector which is small and light, perfect for taking out and about for a variety of uses and it comes with a compact carry case and it's reasonably inexpensive. Or if you plan to leave your projector set up in a dedicated space at all times, for example in a home movie room, you might want to look at a larger, higher spec model, something like this UHD 300X DLP projector from Optoma, which you can see is much bigger. Once you know which option would best suit your needs, it's time to take a look at the other main considerations, so we'll explain them in simple terms. Let's think about the space you have to play with. You'll likely hear the terms short throw, ultra short throw and long throw in relation to projectors. And if you're wondering what this actually means, then essentially most consumer projectors are either short or ultra short throw. And these are perfect if you don't have loads of space, as they can be positioned quite close to your screen or a wall and still project a large image. It should tell you in the product description the minimum amount of space you'll need to achieve a large picture. For example, this GT 1080E DLP short throw projector will need just over a meter to project a full HD 100 inch picture. Whilst the more expensive Optoma HZ40 UST laser projector, classed as an ultra short throw, needs only 30 centimeters to project the same super sized image. And now, as you probably guessed, a long throw projector is the opposite and it's designed to be positioned further away. So you'd probably only really opt for one of these if you've got a very large space to play with. Another term you'll come across when navigating the world of projectors is lumens. Essentially, lumens relates to the brightness of the projected image. So the higher the lumen count, the brighter the image will be. This is particularly important to consider in relation to the environment you plan to use your projector in. Knowing how many lumens you need isn't an exact science, but brighter rooms need a projector with higher lumens. For dark rooms, 1000 to 1200 lumens should be sufficient, although classrooms and conference rooms probably need around 2500 lumens or more. Moving on to resolution, and this bit's easy as it's the same as you'd look for in a TV. You'll come across 1080p, which is Full HD, or 4K, which is Ultra HD. You may also come across vertical or horizontal lens shift. This is a really handy feature to have and it essentially means you'll have a far easier time aligning your projected image as you won't need to physically move your projector and it allows you to raise, lower or reposition the projected image easily. Audio is another key thing to think about. If you don't intend to have a separate audio setup, then take note of the inbuilt speaker quality to ensure it's good enough for your intended use. You'll also need to consider how you plan to use your projector and then ensure your chosen model has the right ports. You can check connectivity in the product description. 
And last but definitely not least is budget. How much do you have to spend is obviously key and will dictate your options available. But hopefully, having walked you through some of the above areas, you should feel confident to go about selecting the very best projector you can afford for your usage. And as ever, if you have any further questions or need a hand choosing between models, then our helpful team will be happy to advise you further. Alternatively, if you're ready to browse our wide range of projectors suitable for all budgets and uses, visit scan.co.uk. Okay.